You know, conspiracy theories become a way to explain the chaos of a world people don't understand. All right, guys, I really want to start talking more about the Sandy Hook shooting. And I want to really talk about some of the symptoms that Adam Lanza was supposedly supposed to have, which was uh, Asperger's syndrome. What conspiracy theorists don't grasp is that the elite is also inept. And then we're really going to start putting two to two together and think, could this person be that good of a shot? Late development of motor skills or lack of physical coordination. So they're very uncoordinated. In other words, potentially clumsy. And yet this person by himself managed to be 27 for 27 in the shot to kill ratio with nobody reported wounded that you could actually trace. Conspiracy theorists frighten me because they have a, they can't read reality. So this is showing that a person age 20 with Asperger's disease, and I'm going to read the side effects and causes, was that accurate of a shot that he could just kill every single person he, he uh, was shooting at? And you're telling me this guy had the markmanship of a professional shooter? Because I, I've seen so many people, and I've seen people say, well, on Wik Wikileaks, uh, Wikipedia, I had a brain freeze there for a moment, some people say one, some people say two. But the point of the matter is, that's a pretty low percentage for somebody who's going to have basically a stumbling kind of shaky kind of feeling, has problems with social situations, and doesn't like change in spontaneity. And the worse it gets, the less people can confront it because it's painful. You know, conspiracy theories become a way to explain the chaos of a world people don't understand. Conspiracy theorists frighten me because they, have a, they can't read reality.